Good morning, everybody. Big happy Friday to you. It's Friday, August 10th. It's about 10 to 8 a.m. I guess this is just a little pasture in uh, <clears throat> the ending of the first week of breeding season. Ending of the first week, but uh, of course this is going to carry on for a little while here. Go on, get out of here. <clears throat> now, if you recall, <clears throat> we had two bulls. Bulls that were tested, semen tested and everything. Uh, tested out um, there's no such word as excellent not with the testing procedures that we use very good they got let out um, Friday morning of last week and uh, those boys have been busy I don't think they've slept in a week <clears throat> trying to find one of the new heifers that I just let out. <clears throat> I let them out last night. I do my best every time there's some new cattle brought in, <clears throat> whether it's just one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. <clears throat> I close up the corral system and I make sure that they're put in there for at least 48 hours with some grain and some hay and everything else, basically so that they can settle down after being shipped even if it's just from a mile mile down the road which that was the case this time they acclimated really well they're very comfortable uh, you can tell how happy they are and all that other fruity stuff but they're doing real good this is a normal process here um, just spending time out here and just sitting on your butt and looking come breeding season <clears throat> And what I've been doing is keeping a list. Now you're not going to catch everything, but you try to be out here two or three times a day for... <coughs> you try to, you know, I've got a lot of other stuff going on too. You try to be out here two to three times a day at a minimum for a good half hour piece and, and just sit here. Just sit and watch. You can tell which ones are in heat. Obviously, you can tell by the bull's reaction. And if you're lucky enough, you can actually uh, witness a jumping, um, for the lack of better words. <clears throat> a little bit quiet here this morning. Things are settling down just a little bit. Come on, you guys, get the hell out of there. Come on. Go. Get away. Get out of So for the most part, things are going pretty good. Uh, really happy with this uh, this bigger pasture square here. They were let out to this square on Tuesday morning. It's already uh, it's already Friday morning. This week has just flown by, and uh, they're going to continue to be out here all day long today and probably tomorrow, and who knows, maybe even Sunday. Very very happy with this regrowth of grass here. It was also given a shot of uh, fertilizer um, weeks ago in preparation for them being back here this entire week. The beauty of it <clears throat> is we've had some unbelievably great growing weather. 
Um, so this whole time that they've been in the, uh, both these pasture squares behind the barn, the actual pasture system has been able to catch up and keep up and uh, it was perfect timing, I guess, with this week and uh, things have absolutely bloomed. So, <clears throat> got kind of a perfect world going on here, folks. <clears throat> it's a little bit scary if you ask me. All right, time's a burning. I got to get some other stuff done here this morning while I have time. Uh, you're going to see some, uh, some videos today. It's Friday. I'm always in a good mood on Friday, for the most part, unless something happens. Um, <clears throat> there's going to be some hay raking done today with the uh, double windrow rake, the 1022 New Holland. Um, I don't show that a lot because I don't use it a lot. I'm going to be using it today, so I'm going to put on a small little video on that. There is going to be some hay baling, not much of it. Um, I am going to round bale <clears throat> that really thin uh, crop that I cut two days ago. It is going to get round baled. Um, we're going to do, hopefully today I'm going to sneak in a corn update and a sorghum update as well. You're, you're not going to believe the sorghum. It, it, it's just, <laughs> it's ridiculous. I've been saying that for, what, about a month and a half now. It's a foot or better in some spots. And, uh, I don't know, on one of those videos sometime today, I'm going to go ahead and do a, uh, a shout-out Friday. I've got a channel in mind already to share with you. and uh, Yeah, so anyway, folks, I hope you're having a good Friday morning. It's the start of the weekend for a lot of you, or at least start of the weekend tonight. Hope you got some good plans and everything's going all right. And uh, we're going to talk to you sooner than later.